Thank you and welcome to the show today. The topic this day is youth violence and we're fortunate to have with us uh, three members of the uh, community to uh, talk about uh, youth violence. Uh, Ms. Clemmie Greenlee, and of course Ms. Greenlee has been with us on a number of occasions before. Uh, Mr. Rodney Britton, and of course uh, with Mr. Rodney uh, Britton uh, is Mr. Hodge. Uh, and of course let me well welcome you Mr. Craig Hodge and Mr. Rodney Brittany, Britton as well as Ms. Clemmy Greenlee uh, to the show this morning and to uh, tell all three of you how delighted we are to have uh, the three of you with us this morning to talk about uh, what we consider to be a very, very important uh, issue, and that is uh, youth violence. Uh, let's start off, uh, Ms. Greenlee, uh, and of course you've been with us on a number of occasions, yeah. to uh, have you to give us some information about your background uh, some, and other things that you've been involved with, and of course Mr. Britton will do the same, as well as Mr. Hodge, and then we'll get into the real issue of uh, youth violence. Let's start with you. Uh, uh, first of all, I just want to thank you for allowing us being here. Uh, as some of my viewers know, I'm a, I'm a high school dropout. I'm an ex-prostitute, ex-game member, ex-drug addict, ex-all of that. Mm -hmm. And you remember I said ex. Good. Today uh -huh. I'm a powerful black young woman that's mm -hmm. out in my community mm -hmm. fighting issues that I think is very, very important to us. Not only with youth violence, mm -hmm. we got homelessness going on, mm -hmm. mental illness going on, and mm -hmm. I can go on and on. Good. Mm -hmm. And of course, uh, let's let's hear from you, uh, Mr. Uh, Britton, and then of course, Mr. Hodge will give us some statements in reference to what brought him here. Okay, well, <clears throat> I'm uh, 20 years old, uh, working in the community. I graduated from Weiss Creek High School, class mm -hmm. of 2006. Mm -hmm. um, former, uh, 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 you know, involved in mm -hmm. a lot of illegal activities in the community, but now I'm trying to give back to the community. Mm -hmm. And it's such an honor to be on your show today. Very good. And of course, yes, uh, <clears throat> Mr. Hodge, what about you? Uh, my name is Craig Hodge. I'm 20 years old. Um, I am a member of a gang, but um, my main purpose is um, to provide a new way and show my new and show my kids mm -hmm. and my siblings and my homeboys mm -hmm. that it's a better way than picking up the gun mm -hmm. or picking up the drugs. Mm -hmm. And of course, I think we've got a good show here if, if, if we can get into that kind of information here with Mr. Hodge and Mr. Britton and of course, Ms. Greenlee. Let's uh, start off, Ms. Greenlee, by uh, talking about this issue uh, dealing with uh, youth violence. Uh, what is this uh, as an issue in uh, this particular city? Oh, it's a huge issue. Uh, those who remember me last time I was on your show, mm -hmm. you know I was on your show with a brother, Earl Jordan, mm -hmm. talking about the murder of my son in mm -hmm. 2003. So mm -hmm. not only did I stop, not stop doing what I was out to do, I'm, mm -hmm. as you can see, I'm continuing it. Mm -hmm. uh, it. You know, it has been a very, very tough decision mm -hmm. for me to get out public like I have to mm -hmm. let everybody know in our community that you're not really stepping up to the plate. Okay. My mm -hmm. babies are dying every single day mm -hmm. under 20 years old, and I think it's a must that we get out here and realize mm -hmm. we got to do something about it. Mm -hmm. uh, Ms. Britton, uh, you, you, you're 20 years old and you said that you're now trying to give back to the community. In what way, what are you, what are you doing now in terms of uh, giving back to the community and how uh, constructive do you think that that is? Okay, well right now I'm the Youth Outreach Coordinator mm -hmm. for Galaxy Star and our main focus at this point is to bring unity in our community. Mm -hmm. And our main focus at this point is to target our teenagers and our children, mm -hmm. uh, mostly our gangs. We're not trying to stop a gang. We're not trying to say get out of the gang. We're just trying to bring everybody together in unity mm -hmm. to do one key thing, and that is respect each other. Okay. If we can respect each other, you know, mm -hmm. for who we are, mm -hmm. then I think all the violence will cut down, all the drug mm -hmm. dealing and selling will, mm -hmm. it will cut down because everybody mm -hmm. is respecting each other. Mm -hmm. So at this point, I think as we work diligently, diligently to bring unity in our mm -hmm. community, we want to do block parties, we want to do, uh, put on respect the set uh, CD mm -hmm. uh, and DVD among our gang members. Mm -hmm. And that's what we are in the community right now promoting, trying to get our gangs to understand one key thing. All we got to do is respect each other, mm -hmm. and everything else will be all right. Good. And of course, Mr. Hodge, uh, you, uh, uh, I, I understand you introduced yourself, at least I introduced you as a, as a member of a gang. Uh, not long ago, it was said that there are no gangs, quote, unquote, in Nashville. And I think you can disprove that. Uh, what about uh, gangs in Nashville, uh, uh, Mr. Hodge, over the last 57 seconds we have? Um, gang gangs in Nashville is just serious as gangs is in the world. You know, um, like I was told, everybody's together in a group might as well be considered a gang. So you consider the police force a gang. Mm -hmm. The people that work together 
at different restaurants, you consider them a gang. Mm -hmm. So basically, there are gangs, but it's they're doing it in a positive way. Mm -hmm. And that's my main point is to show that we can do something positive so we won't be stereotyped and held down so much. And, and a lot of folks look at uh, your membership in a gang and they think only of the negative aspect of, of gangs and, and, and you're saying that it is possible to sort of change the attitude in reference to gangs and that's why you're here with us to try to uh, do that today. And of course, uh, let us uh, take our first commercial break, uh, Ms. Greenlee, uh, mm -hmm. Mr. Britton, and uh, Mr. Hart, and we'll come back and let uh, the three of you uh, explain uh, some other aspects of this. And we'll be back with our audience following this very, very short commercial break. Talking to Ms. Uh, Greenlee.